Using a co uh, common combinations of locally harvested vegetables and wildlife, the sous chef is able to make ordinary into extraordinary. For this week's In Focus, Mel Meyer met with his team, which recently stopped in Bemidji to dish out some of their best work yet. Sean Sherman has worked in steakhouses, Italian and Spanish restaurants before creating his own pop-up restaurant and food truck. Specializing in pre-contact indigenous food, you won't find any dairy, flour, processed sugar, beef, pork, or chicken in any of his food. We've been really strict about using only indigenous ingredients to reflect the flavor and the history of the regions that we're working in. Today's menu consists of rabbit, wild rice, forest mushrooms, leeks, and cedar tea. He hopes that the flavors will be able to speak for themselves. We just try to really keep the food clean and healthy um, the way it used to be and not add too much stuff to it, just kind of let the food be what it is. Using her biology degree from Bemidji State University, Tashia Hart will go out to scavenge for some of the plants that they need. My passion is really being outside and gathering that stuff, but it's also really fun to see how things kind of come together, I guess, in the kitchen. Brian Yazzi calls this micro-regional indigenous food, using the culture of the native people in the area to direct the meal. When people say indigenous food, it's more of a lucky term as in, what is it, you know, it's just, it depends what region you're in and what food is available in that area. Over the past year, the sous chef launched a wildly successful Kickstarter campaign, which had more individual backers than any other restaurant on the site's history. It's with this momentum that they've been able to host guest chefs to cook with them during the pop-ups. We're moving on to a different level to where we're educating and not just cooking and bringing back a forgotten food culture. Later on, the food was ready to be served for the inaugural fundraising dinner for American Indian student success at BSU. It's really good, it's really delicious, I like it. Something new. The whole thing's really good. It's really unique um, the way that he creates like the indigenous food, pre-colonized food um, with like a contemporary format. In Bemidji with this week's In Focus, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.